Okay, everyone, we have a birthday in the office today. Now you all know who it is, so I expect a fantastic party to be thrown later. I have no idea whose birthday it is. The calendar just says birthday in red letters. And I, I would look up the personnel folders, but I went and lost the key. Man, I can't wait for this party later. Do you remember how what a good time we had last year? No, I don't. I started in the spring, so I wasn't here for that. I'm sure they loved it, though. Yeah, we all did. I was bluffing. Either Jackie's out, or she's too polite to tell me that it's her birthday. Or maybe we have two birthdays today. I started working here two months ago, and immediately after being hired, Ben put me on the PPC, Party Planning Committee. I think it's because I'm the only female in the office. But the problem is, they never gave me any birthday list, so I don't know whose special day it is. Drew, dude, dude, what's happening? Uh, do you have those spreadsheets for the Fister merger? Yep. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I've just been really gearing up for this party tonight. We got a good one. Like, it's a big one this year. <laughs> Can't wait. A rock on, man. I hear that. No arm, no foul. Um, have you seen a key for, like, a filing cabinet lying around anywhere? Uh... No, why? Oh, uh, for no reason. Uh, just uh, give me those spreadsheets when you can, okay? Yeah, uh, sure thing, boss. It's my birthday today. Uh, I hate birthdays. I just, I don't understand the point. You, you age every day, but you celebrate a birthday on one day of the year, but technically, you never stop aging. This year, I've planned ahead. I've wiped all records of my birth from the office, and these guys, they're not going to remember. I've also made a point to throw them off. Hey, I'm going to level with you. Uh, they never gave me a birthday list, so I have no clue whose birthday it is. Oh, it's Ben's birthday today. Don't you remember the party from last year? I'm so excited for today's party, guys. He really likes birthdays. I, I gotta go decorate. Where's she off to in such a hurry? She's off to go decorate, which is kind of weird because it's her birthday. Yeah, super weird. I knew it! Okay guys, the party's gonna start soon, so meet me in the kitchen. Why are you yelling surprise for yourself? That's just embarrassing. What? It's not my birthday, it's Ben's. <laughs> it's not my birthday? Well, whose birthday is it? Surprise! surprise! Happy birthday to Drew. Happy birthday to you. Welcome to Akron After Hours. This is it, Chief. If by it, you mean episode two of Akron After Hours. Welcome, everybody. I'm Kyle. This is Caleb. Caleb, we said no ties. Uh, do you not like it? I like it, but, like, we agreed on no ties because now you're outdressing me. I don't have a tie. It's business casual. Oh, so I'm overdressing you, so you, you think it's a nice tie? Yeah, you look fine. Like, that's not the point. It... Well, we got a great show for you. Uh, we'll just get into it, and we'll, we'll figure out the tie situation later. It's nice, right? Cut, cut, please. Did you see that? Why even bother making a sign? I don't know. I think it's kind of cute that they're trying to find their teddy bear. I think it's pretty silly, Sam.
You're not. No, it can't be. Okay, I, I don't know what it is, but I know it's not that. Wait, no, maybe? What's this? Bring him to the woods? Okay, now I know this is a prank. Alex! Sam? What is this? Who are you? What? This is your family? I'll be right back. Happy to bring a family together. Cute. I think. Whoa! Is he gonna throw him? So is that not your son? That worst enemy. Okay, so where's Sam? Dogs with a punky world with smoke curry. Alex, we killed Sam, sorry. Don't pit for a big noyo moon to woo. So, what do I do now? Hey, did you hear about that monkey that bought a bunch of stuff off of Amazon? No, what about it? Well, there's this YouTube video where a scientist went and told a monkey to buy, like, like stuff online. Went online, typed hat, and bought a hat. Whose credit card did it use? The monkey's credit card. A monkey has a credit card? I don't even have a credit card. Well, like it went online, filled out an application, and got approved. You know, that's ridiculous. I hope that monkey doesn't pay his bills and a debt collector calls him and goes, hello, is there Mr. Bobo there? Yeah, good luck with that. What are you gonna do? Sue the monkey, just take everything from him. Hey, is it alright if I duck out early today? I have to go take my daughter to like a friend's birthday party. You put everything in the teleprompter, right? Yeah. Yeah, it should be fine. We're almost over anyway, the anchor shot, no problem. Cool. Uh, I'm outie. Local man escaped from prison last night. Inmate Connor White, also known by his street name Assault, escaped by impersonating guards. If anybody knows of his whereabouts, please notify the police. And that is it for us today. We'll leave you... I... There's no words there. I... What does that say? I... I've never seen that before. No, there is. We're going to Lady Gaga. There's no, there's no words on the teleprompter. What does that mean to play us out? It's, it's Gaga. She's going to be in a concert. But to, to play us out, to, to end the show? Yeah. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Let's do it. Five, four, three, two. That is it. Oh, sorry. Five, four, three, two. And that is it for us today. We'll leave you with Lady Gaga and her new song. I can't do it. Why not? There's no words on the teleprompter. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. All right, and we'll do it live, okay? Okay. Five, four, three, two. And that is it for us today. We'll leave you with Lady Gaga and her new song. Take it away.
Hey, Teresa. What should I make for dinner tonight? Oh, I don't know, Jason. Why don't we just order out? I'm in the mood for Thai. Okay, Thai it is. Great. I'll just place your usual order. Shall I set the mood? Uh, sure. How's that? Fine, I guess. One last touch. It appears someone's at the door. Yeah, I got that. Seventeen fifty. How did you get here so fast? This order was placed like forty minutes ago. Well, keep the change. Thanks. Do you want to explain all this? I'm sorry. I was just so excited for tonight. What? Why? <laughs> hey man, I'm trying to bake a cake. Do you got any sugar I can borrow? <laughs> yeah. Borrow sure. a cup of sugar? What, do you plan to give it back? I mean, when you put it like that, I guess not. Then no, you can't. Get lost, Alpha Beta Pi. Okay. Why would you do that? Well, the truth is, Jason, we spent so much time together. I just think of you as my own. I hate to see you as someone else. Hey, Teresa, turn on my lights and turn off this music. I'm sorry. I can only take one command at a time. Turn on my lights and turn off this music. Listen, you're a great friend and you're super helpful. Not to mention you tell great jokes. Why did the cell phone cross the road? Not now. It's just that... I like my girls to be a little bit more real. You know what I mean? Please say something. Well, there's only one thing left to say. So Nick, how long have you been cooking? Not long. Okay, but what got you into cooking? Well, I did watch this cooking show one time. Nick is uh, interesting. His creations are just plain awful. So I saw this cooking show once and I was like, that can't be so hard. And so I thought, you know, I'd get into it and like start doing my own stuff. Yeah. I really like to experiment with uh, new flavors and try different things I've never seen done before, you know? And you're going to culinary arts school to pursue this dream? Uh, no, I'm studying geology. Yeah, like, mixed food isn't always that good, per se, but, like, we've known him for a while now, and we can't just not taste his food. and Like, free meals, you know? Sometimes he'll text in the group chat that he's making a new creation tonight. I usually just take the late shift. I know my cooking isn't great right now, but I'm really working on it, and I'm glad that my roommates will sacrifice their taste buds for me. If I could rate his food, it wouldn't even make it on the scale. It's complete garbage. Gordon Ramsay wouldn't even give it a passing glance. Uh, yeah, Nick has room for improvement. He's got potential, but, uh, yeah, he's pretty bad. So where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, probably cooking right here in my kitchen on campus. On campus? Yeah, uh, so I, like, have been slacking for a while. I set my graduation date off, but, you know, it'll be fine. And by your own kitchen, you mean... Oh, the one right here behind me, you know? I just feel bad for whoever his roommates are in the future. Dan and I are graduating in the spring, so we'll finally be free from this... I'm sorry. Can I... I I'll be right back. I gotta go use the restroom. Yeah, so we got the blickies, the stiffies, poppers, boppers, gum droppers, gob stoppers, and guns. Uh, you copping a weapon or something, or you just come here for no reason? Well, what you want? Uh, I, you know that ain't really a weapon, right? 
Alright then. Question. Why wear your ski mask now? Are you like always prepared to rob or is are you cold? Like Yeah, I'll take a double Nah, make that a triple decker pizza. Yeah. Actually let me get some drinks. Gotta get that thirst quench. I got a long night ahead of me. Oof. Wonder why I'm ordering so much? Oh, you don't care? Well, I'm gonna tell you anyways. See, I'm a part of the neighborhood watch. We watch the neighborhood. It's actually really important to... And he hung up on me. That's something I'm gonna talk to the manager about. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. What's the move tonight? Something big? Five. No, six diamonds. That's how much you're diamond from his home? Not too bad, man. Just please don't hold on on me. I need to get my watch on. These criminals aren't ready. Hey, buddy, I'll call the cops on you. You don't want none of this action. I'm just walking to my house. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want none of this action. These don't work very well in the dark, do they? You know, they should make the police hey. do that. You neighborhood watch? No. Oh, my bad. <sighs> Can't believe that worked. Psych! I knew it was you. Now I need one thing. What do you want? You know, man, I've been stealing all my life. I stole cars. I stole money. I stole a zoo clean once. But I never stole me a life. What is this? How, how did you- Every thief finds a way. Police will be here soon. I called them on the way. I'm already doing my job better than you. Who do you think they're gonna catch? Me or you? ID on a subject. White male, white shirt, early 20s, black pants. Officer, please listen. Silence! It's your right. Looks like you're just gonna have to wing it, Cheryl. You're coming with me, pal. What? No, this isn't how it's supposed to end. Stop. It's not supposed to happen this way. Yeah, let me get a double. No, make it a triple. Yeah, that should be good. Thanks. Yellow? Yeah, I'm watching tonight. Look, if you want to come steal something, I got you. Why do you think I stole this bum's life? For nothing? I got hookups. Yeah, see you then. That was a good episode. Oh, nice tie, Kyle. Oh, thanks, Caleb. You like it? Yeah. What's the matter? Come on. It's almost Halloween season. Yeah, speaking of Halloween, next episode is our Halloween episode. Are you excited? Yeah, and if you want to keep up to date on it, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at ZTV Akron After Hours. Do I get that tie back? What? This, this is my tie. No. Yeah, don't you remember? Like, I, I came in wearing a tie. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You sure? About Have that? a great night, everybody. You sure about that? Today, we're here to talk about our newest way to get around town. We started with regular drive, but that wasn't big enough, so we gave you Drive XL. Ride in style with more space. So now, we give you Drive ET. You guys asked for more speed, so we're giving it to you. So what is Drive ET? Well, it's exactly how it looks. We've made an agreement with our friends on the other side of the moon, and they're gonna help us with this one. And here, we have our spacecraft, the mode of transportation. It's just slightly slower than the speed of light, 299,792,458 meters per second. This thing is fast. You'll get to your destination in no time. You'll be wondering if you even left in the first place at all. Buzz it up, and we fall. Huh? Hurry, hurry. Whoa, that was fast. 
We've tried so many different ways to improve travel speed, but this one tops the rest. We know some people might be weary of using our new service, so here's a video from one of our trusted drivers. We are so proud to say that we did what the government couldn't do. Civilize with the fellow inhabitants of this galaxy. Now it's time to open up for questions. Anyone? Yeah, you in the back. So how does the government feel about you doing this? They're fine with it, really. We've got contracts. They come in peace. Really? Because they can't just be okay with you doing this. They've been trying to find alien life forms for years. Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. It's extraterrestrials. They don't like being called aliens. Okay, extraterrestrials. Either way, the military has been hot on their trails for years. How'd you guys get them through an email? That's enough from you. Anyone else? What's the price for Veride? Great question. It's pretty affordable. For every millisecond of travel, it's $500. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thanks for coming out. We hope that with the introduction of Drive ET, we can make your riding experience out of this world.